ChatGPT just dropped their first hardware device ever, and it's not what you think. It's a tiny pen that fits in your pocket with no screen, just voice and AI that can see what you write, and it might replace your iPhone. This is the craziest AI news I've seen all year, and I'm going to break down exactly what it does and why OpenAI is betting billions on this thing. ChatGPT is building hardware, their first physical product ever, and it's called Gumdrop. This is wild because OpenAI has never made hardware before. They've always been a software company, but now they're going all in on this pen-shaped device that could change everything about how we use AI. So what is Gumdrop exactly? It's a pen, a tiny pen that fits in your pocket. But here's where it gets insane, no screen, zero. It works completely through voice and senses. You talk to it like a person, it listens, it responds, it helps you get stuff done. And the wild part is it can see and transcribe. You write something by hand and it captures it. You ask a question and it answers instantly. It's basically chat GPT in your pocket, but way more natural. Now, let me tell you who's behind this, because this is where it gets really interesting. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, teamed up with Joni Ive. Yes, that Joni Ive, the guy who designed the iPhone, the MacBook, the iPod, the design legend. OpenAI basically acquired his entire design studio for $6.5 billion. That's not a typo. $6.5 billion. They're going all in on hardware. And they're working with Foxconn to manufacture it. Foxconn is the same company that makes iPhones, so they know what they're doing. They're planning to produce this in Vietnam or the US, not China. That tells you they're thinking global scale from day one. This isn't some side project. This is OpenAI's big bet on the future. Here's why I think this is genius. Apple controls the iPhone. Google controls Android. If you want to use chat GPT, you go through their app stores, you play by their rules. But with Gumdrop, OpenAI bypasses all of that. They own the hardware. They own the interaction. No middleman. That's a massive strategic move. And honestly, it's kind of brilliant. Let me show you how this thing actually works. It's voice first, completely voice first. You don't type, you don't tap, you just talk like you're talking to a person. You, imagine this, you're in a meeting, someone's writing notes on a whiteboard, you point gumdrop at it. It captures everything, transcribes it, organizes it all through voice commands, or you're brainstorming ideas for your business, you just talk out loud. Gumdrop listens, it captures your thoughts, it can even help you organize them into action steps. Think about students, they're sitting in a lecture taking notes by hand. Gumdrop can see those notes, transcribe them, and even answer questions about the material later. And if you wanna learn how to actually use AI tools like this to save time and streamline your business, check out the AI Profit Boardroom. We break down every new AI tool, show you exactly how to use it, and give you templates you can implement right away. Whether it's voice AI, automation workflows, or tools like Gumdrop when they launch, we cover it all. This is where you learn to scale your business and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. Link in the description. For business owners, this is huge. You could dictate tasks while you're walking, create content while you're driving, capture ideas the moment they hit you. Let me give you a real example. Say you're running an AI automation business. You're thinking about new ways to help clients. You pull out Gumdrop and say, give me five automation ideas for real estate agents. It responds instantly through voice, no typing, no screen, just natural conversation or you're reviewing handwritten client feedback. You show it to Gumdrop. It reads it, summarizes the key points, suggests next steps all in seconds. This is what makes it different from your phone. Your phone is a distraction machine, notifications, apps, screens. Gumdrop is pure focus, pure productivity. Now let's talk about the strategy behind this because this is brilliant. OpenAI wants to own the AI interaction layer. Right now, if you use ChatGPT, you're in Safari or Chrome or their app, Apple and Google control that experience. But with Gumdrop, OpenAI controls everything. The hardware, the software, the entire experience, they're taking their page out of Apple's playbook, vertical integration. And here's the business model. They'll probably sell the device cheap, maybe even at cost, then charge you a monthly subscription for the AI service. Just like Kindle, cheap hardware, recurring revenue. This is smart because once you have the device, you're locked into their ecosystem, you're paying every month. They're building a relationship with you and they're betting on voice. Voice is the future of AI interaction. It's faster than typing, more natural than tapping, more human, think about it. When you talk to someone, you don't type, you don't look at a screen, you just talk. That's what Gumdrop is trying to recreate. Now let's talk about use cases because this is where it gets really practical. For content creators, this is a game changer. You could brainstorm video ideas out loud, Gumdrop captures them, organizes them, helps you build a content calendar. 
For entrepreneurs, you could plan your entire day through voice, schedule tasks, set reminders, get context-aware suggestions based on what you're working on. For students, you could study more effectively, ask questions about your notes, get explanations in real time, all without touching your phone. And here's where it connects to automation. Imagine using Gumdrop to control your business workflows. You say, send the weekly report to my team. Done. You say, create a follow-up email for yesterday's leads. Done. This is the kind of hands-free productivity that AI was meant to enable. No typing, no clicking, just thinking and speaking. This is what the future looks like. And OpenAI is betting billions that this is where we're headed. Now let's talk about the challenges because this isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are real problems OpenAI needs to solve. First, privacy. This thing is always listening, always watching. That's how it works. But that freaks people out, and rightfully so. OpenAI needs to be crystal clear about data handling. Where does the data go? How long is it stored? Can other people access it? These are real concerns. Second, technical hurdles. Real-time voice AI is hard, really hard. You need low latency, natural conversation flow, accurate transcription. All of that is difficult to nail. We've seen other devices try this and fail. Remember the Humane AI pin or the Rabbit R1? Both were voice-first devices. Both struggled with execution. OpenAI has better AI than those companies, but hardware is a different game. They're competing with Apple and Google who've been doing this for decades. Third, adoption. Do people actually want another device? We already carry phones, watches, earbuds. Do we need a pen too? That's the big question. OpenAI is betting yes. They're betting that voice AI is compelling enough to justify a new device. We'll see if they're right. But if OpenAI nails the experience, if it actually feels natural and useful, then yeah, this could be huge. The fact that Johnny Ive is involved tells you they're serious about design. This won't be some clunky prototype. It'll be beautiful, minimal, elegant, the fact that Foxconn is manufacturing tells you they're serious about scale. They're planning to sell millions of these, not just a tech demo. And the fact that they're launching in 2026 or 2027 means they're taking their time, getting it right. This isn't rushed. This is calculated. So here's my take. Watch this space. Gumdrop could be revolutionary or it could be another failed AI gadget. But either way, it's a sign of where AI is headed. Voice first, screen less, always available. That's the vision. And honestly, I'm here for it. This is the kind of tech that changes how we work, how we learn, how we create. And if you want to stay ahead of this stuff, you need to be learning how to use these tools now, not later, now. Because here's what most people don't get. AI isn't coming. It's already here. And the people who learn to use it effectively are the ones who are going to win. The ones who sit on the sidelines are going to get left behind. It's that simple. And that's why I created the AI Profit Boardroom. It's where you learn to actually implement this stuff, not just watch videos about it, but actually use it to save time, get more customers and scale your business. We break down tools like Gumdrop, show you step-by-step -step how to automate your workflows and give you templates you can use right away. No fluff, just practical implementation. Link in the description. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one. Join the AI Success Lab is completely free. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of over 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. We share real world examples, strategies, and tools that actually work. That's it for today. If you found this valuable, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about Gumdrop. Would you actually use this thing or is it just another gadget? Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you share your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.